Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you two easy ways that you can add a watermark to your images. Now I have my photo pulled up that I'm going to add a watermark to, and the first way I'm going to add one is by using my logo. So I already have mine pulled up here, so I'm just going to pull it down. And to make this work, you want to make sure that your logo is on a transparent background and even better that it's saved as a .png file. So make sure that you have your logo saved that way. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, logo and I'm going to drag it into the, pic the picture that I want to watermark. And you can see now it's right over the top. That looks very um, distracting, however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my blend mode on this. So I'm going over to the right hand side and I'm going to change my blend mode from normal to soft light. And that kind of lightens it up and makes it a lot less distracting, but still keeps my watermark over the image. Now, if I'm worried about theft, I might just keep that watermark right over his face. But if I don't want it to be as distracting, I'm going to grab the move tool, which is the first one in your toolbar on the left hand side. So I'm going to select that and I'm just going to move that watermark down to the corner. Now, for me, that's still a little distracting. So what I might do is I might go to edit free transform and holding the shift key down. I'm just going to shrink that down just a little bit so that I'm still branding my image but it's a lot less um, distracting in the image. So that's the first way that you could watermark your image using your own logo. Now, the second way that I think is a little bit easier, so I'm going to take that one off, is just by using the text tool. So I'm going to go back over to my toolbar on the left hand side and I'm going to choose text. I'm going to make sure I have black selected, but you really could select any color that you wanted here and you're going to choose the font that you prefer. Uh, I like Spinnaker here, so I'm going to choose that one and I'm just going to click right onto my image. And from here, I'm just going to type in my business name and my name, or you could just type your own name or your own business or whatever you want. Now, if you wanted to place this diagonally, you could go to the free transform again by going to edit free transform and I'm going to make this diagonal across the picture just like that and I'm going to once again change my blending mode from normal to soft light just so it isn't so distracting across the image if you like it that bold you could keep it at normal or you could play around with some of the other uh, blend modes too and see what you like now you can make this bigger, you could make this smaller. Um, if you're worried about theft, once again, keep it right in the center of your image across your subject. However, if you'd like uh, to use a watermark more for branding, my suggestion would be to use that move tool and place your watermark in a spot that isn't as distracting. So I might put it down here in the corner so that people can see who it is that who the photographer is, but it doesn't take away from the picture itself. So there are two ways you can add a watermark, either by using your logo or by using text. Now I have these instructions written for you on the blog, so if you check the link below, you can click on that and um, you can read those instructions as well. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, I'd love if you'd share this uh, video tutorial or the blog post. That would mean a lot to me. And make sure to subscribe to the channel where I will be adding more and more editing tutorials all the time. Thanks for watching.